Hi, Callum. Oh my gosh. Guys, I can't. You're close. I'm, I can't. <laughs> What's going on you guys? James here with another real reaction and that's right. Season 6 of The Dragon Prince is finally here and today we're getting into episode 3, The Frozen Ship. Now you guys know what this means based on the first look images that we've covered right here on the channel. This is going to be a very Rayla intensive episode. So Rayla, Callum fans, <laughs> we finally made it. And I have to imagine that this is going to be the start of these Raylum heavy episodes. I think we'll get episodes three through five to be very centered around both of these characters. They're going to the Star Scraper. They're going to try to get the Nova Blade and the Quasar Diamonds to free Tiandrin, Lane, and Runan. So we'll see what happens if that comes to pass or <laughs> if Claudia somehow hops and skips her way over to the Star Scraper in time to foil all the plans. That's not happening on one leg, is it? No. Now, if you missed any of my reactions so far in season six, they're in the description below or floating around at the top of the screen. And hey, if you don't want to miss out on any future reactions, because yeah, two a day, we're coming strong, guys. Hit the big red button below, subscribe to the channel, tap on that bell, like this video, and get loud in the comments below. And let me know what you thought about episode three. Was it your favorite? If you were a Raylum fan, it might, but we'll have to see. So, you know what? I'm going to stop talking, and it's time to get into this episode. Where are the tissues? Previously on the Dragon Prince. Mm, Terry's narrating. You've done this before. When I, Is it a big deal dirtying yourself mm. a little Are they hinting towards the dark magic that Callum used in season five really coming into play in this episode? Who knows? Claudia, please. I won't be here for you. Imagine if Terry's still waiting on that sandy beach. <laughs> Homeboy must be hungry and really sunburnt. I bet it's going to be Claudia again, isn't it? Let's see. Yes. Oh, Claudia. You know what I just realized? It looks like she was like kind of limping. So like, this is definitely Claudia in present day. Yeah. Hey, if Claudia doesn't survive this season, guys, who's shocked? Not me. <laughs> what is this? A dream? He's on Finnegan's ship? Oh, we're seeing how he did perform the dark magic? One spell. One. <gasps> oh, again, Erevos is controlling him? I had to. Oh my gosh, Callum! Yo, this is so bad. They're foreshadowing the fact that he's definitely the next to be controlled by Erevos. Like, Aww, <sighs> might be a nightmare. But it could be a vision. Oh, do not step on that ice. <laughs> Dang, Rayla. Okay, good for her then. Wow. Oh, we saw this clip, right? Where the shadow paw looks like it's gonna drown. Come on, we can't lose another shadow paw, right? We've already lost one, so. That's a cool sounding spell, Mons Aquius. And it looks like he's gonna save the Shadow Paw. <laughs> Good job, Callum. This man's really advancing in the way he uses magic. It's time for you to go home. They're sending the Shadow Paw away? Yo! To the Silver Grove. To Athari. I'll see you again someday. I hope she'll see him again someday. Not if Erevos has anything to say about it. <laughs> I'm going to Dragon Prince Twitter jail, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Callum Cotter. Oh. No, kiss. No, they probably won't now. Or they will. Dang it, Sneasels. Dang it, Sneasels. Why are you doing this? Between Sneasels and Soren? <clears throat> I can't stand them. Well, during random moments. <laughs> Claudia's back? Yo, she looks rough. She can't do this without Terry, can she? Oh boy. Oh boy. Do you feel bad for Claudia? I don't think I do. How long do you think it's been here? No telling. And the ship's been there since Avatar the, the Lost Airbender. Kidding. What do you think? 
Okay, here goes. There's nothing in there, is there? All that kicking, Rayla, for nothing. I feel like there's more to this ship than it just Rayla being abandoned. Hmm. Seems like a nice name for a ship. It's sad that this ship is stuck. Ray of Illumination. I mean, look at it. This Illumination? ship is going nowhere. Hmm. It was probably some people's favorite ship. Oh, so wait, this is the audio from... This ship would go oh, so... Amazing places. It's from the Frozen Ship clip. Exactly. It's not moving at I all. thought they were trolling us, but... I mean, you could sit here and draw pictures of it's the legit. <laughs> but they're really talking about the Raylum ship. ship. So oh my gosh, so they actually did use the audio <laughs> from Season 6. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't be reading it. Oh, you nosy little monkey. <laughs> Stella don't care. <laughs> These are the private words of Her Excellency, Captain mm. Esmeralda Scal. Okay. That name Esmeralda Scal sounds really familiar now. Okay. Jeez, Claudia is like beat up, bro. Oh. Like, it is sweet how much Terry cares for Claudia. But like, Claudia, girl, why would you do this to yourself? Oh, boy. i be honest though, Terry. Your sponge technique, it's not working because it's not cleaning anything. <laughs> Yo, this story sounds sad, bro. Goodness gracious. Rayla's crying, I'm crying, we're all gonna cry. Hmm. Callum's drawing Rayla. So sweet. I wonder how much of this story Rayla's resonating with when she abandoned Callum for two years. Yeah? All this time you were reading? Oh, Callum. Ruining the moment, Callum. It's not gonna suddenly sink tonight. No, of course not. Like Callum said that. It is. Oh, Callum. Why would you do this? Oh, we've seen this photo before, huh? Mm-hmm. Dang. I wonder if Claudia is gonna go silent. Like uh, Viren did in Season 5. What? Claudia's gonna cut her hair? Hold up. It's just the knot. Get a detangler. Oh, wow. New hairstyle for Claudia. Oh, my. Huh. I really like the AB story here. It's nice. Yes, yes, share. <laughs> Sharing is scary. Really that big a deal. Oh, I'll be fine. Ah, uh, Callum's Thanks. like, not until we get married. Stand up guy. Perhaps they gasp the cold of dawn, a final breath of living night. Then newborn sparks, born of the dark. Breathe in the dark. Mm. And breathe out light. All right. Callum's a poet. My dad wrote that. Oh. King Haro? Uh, no, um, my dad, dad. Oh my gosh, Callum's biological father gets His mentioned here? Damien? Damien? Writer. Writer and a poet? He lived with this terrible breathing sickness his whole life. He said, it Oh my gosh. Every breath and every moment. My mom said he was the strongest person she ever knew. Dude, did not think we'd get his father talked about here. Thank you for sharing with So me. now we know who his father is. Okay. Uh, why wouldn't they? They need to stop playing games, Raylum. Just get get back together officially, officially. Feel me? <laughs> uh, don't be stupid. We're sharing the blanket. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so sweet. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so sweet. Uh, good night. Night. Oh. Look at Stella and Sneasel's no. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Little instigators. <laughs> mm. I love them, man. 
you you can never make me hate them. Wait, oh my gosh, they're amazing. Wing men and wing women. <laughs> Look at them setting it up. Oh, this is so sweet. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi, Callum. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't. We're close. I'm. I can't. Yes, we are. I mean, our faces. Yes, they are. Your breath is warm. Oh my gosh. Oh. Sorry. No. It's nice. This is my heart. <laughs> is it gonna happen? It's gonna happen, isn't it? <gasps> oh my gosh. No, no, no. I have to tell you something. <sighs> Callum, what the heck? I did dark magic again. Oh shoot. Okay, way to kill the mood. Alright. Well, sweet moment's over. He's talking about dark magic again. Oh boy. Claudia's hair? <gasps> My gosh. Well, I guess Claudia's going short here the rest of the series. Wow. Wait, she has a leg now? Okay, group. <laughs> All right. Wow. So she's got herself a wooden leg. Man, it's gonna suck when it rains for her, though. <laughs> Wait, so Claudia's gonna leave Terry after all of this? Oh, well, now they're gonna get their kiss. Watch, here we go. Yep, knew it was coming. Oh, wow. Uh-huh, <laughs> she put her leg up. That's... It's kinda cute, it's kinda cute. Fine, whatever. All right, who's shipping Terry and Claudia, though? Maybe a lot of people are. Knowing that it puts your life in terrible danger. Well, if he didn't do dark magic, really, you would have got hurt. I did it for you. What? Finnegrin was gonna kill you. I didn't have a choice because I would do anything for you. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Am I supposed to thank you? Oh, I can't. <laughs> Love him. Make the sacrifice. Oh shoot. Okay, now this ship is tumbling. Here we go, y'all. Oh no! Wait, is the pearl gonna get in the water, y'all? That'll be bad. Very bad. Yep, there's that new spell. We, we've heard that one before. Well, in the clips. Oh boy. I mean, we know that they will probably get the pearl back, right? But like, when? <laughs> Yes, Rayla! Yo, Rayla's like parkour ability and skills are just like excellent. You have to promise me something too. Oh boy, here we go. What? Oh boy. If Eravos ever controls me again, if he uses me, promise me you'll kill me. See? I'm telling you guys, my theory is probably gonna come true. Yes. I promise. Oh, she promises? Girl, you can't you're not gonna be able to do that. Cause it's gonna happen. It's inevitable at this point. Erevos is gonna control Callum, and then Rayla's gonna have to make the decision. But I don't think she can. I think she escapes and tries to find another way. That's gotta be what's gonna happen, guys. Oh, here comes Viren. The gates of Catullus. One of the real friends. I think her name is Laura, right? Laura? Yeah, if, if that's you, I, must, I hope I'm remembering correctly, but you pointed out that could be Viren's robe in that first look image in this yes. scene. You were right. Don't touch me. Please, I, I'm not here to cause any How did no one recognize that's Viren? <laughs> Dude, Jason Simpson is crushing it in this scene. Bro, wow. Are you begging for mercy? Uh, no. Good. You don't deserve it. Ooh, King Ezra just ate him up. Let's go. Yeah, King Ezra. Figuratively and literally is dragging him into the Catullus. No, that can't be the end of the episode. Oh my gosh, when I tell you this is the best episode of season 6 so far, I mean it. We'll watch the credits for the illustrations, but the pacing was excellent. Didn't even feel like half an hour, right? I love the Rayla moments. I love the a the B plot with Claudia and Terry, and then you get a little C plot too with uh, you know, Viren going to Catullus. But I 
I'm like, wow, the Raylan moments, they are doing great. Of course, we're not going to get everything that we want with Raylan right away. Is that Esmeralda Skull? It's got to be. But I do think eventually we're going to get <laughs> fear and crying in jail. Uh, I do think we're going to eventually get a huge Raylan moment, right? There's no way we do not. I loved it. I absolutely love this episode. It's my favorite of season six so far. I'm like ready to give this thing like a four and a half out of five. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I won't front. Every adventure episode with Raylum is like so darn good. Wow. And the animation was amazing. Um, I don't know. I just love spending time with these characters, right? And just amazing to get more development. We learned about Callum's father, Damien. He's a poet and a writer and had a breathing problem. So, wow. Just so much to take away from this episode. I, I need to know what you guys think, though. Do you feel like this is the best so far? I mean, we're now officially at the end of the first act with season six. Remember, there are nine episodes, right? So we got three, three, and three. We finished the first act. Now we're getting ready for episode four soon. But hey, if you don't want to miss out, hit the big red button below. Subscribe to the channel. Tap on that bell, y'all. And like this video so more Dragon Prince fans can come and watch me freak out over Raylum. Hey, can you blame me? I, I love them. I love them so much. Alrighty, y'all. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get ready for episode four. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you at the next screening.